Bang. Hi everyone, Sarah from The Paper Cut here. Today we're gonna show you how to make our cascading card kit. It's one of our new card kits. So the kit looks like this. In the kit, you get enough to make five cards. It consists of two pieces. It's these two diagonal pieces. Both of them are scored at four and a quarter inches to make three panels. They both have slits in them. However, the slits are either at the bottom or at the bottom or the top of the card, and then they interlock together. Okay. So they come in a kit of five. Um, in order to make them, there's different ways that you can make them as far as stamping or layering. Um, if you're gonna stamp, you would stamp on both sides of this, which I have done. It's like this one, I already pre-stamped both sides. But if you don't want to stamp, because there's a lot of non-stampers out there, you can use our layering die, which is this piece, to cut your layers that fit on the cards. So the layering die has two different sizes. It has the big size that goes almost all the way to the edge, or it has a littler size that gives you a bigger border all the way around. It does only cut one height, so you do need to trim. So it cuts for this biggest panel, and then you need to trim to put it onto the other two panels. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I do wanna put these pieces on here. I'm just gonna attach my first one using my APG gun. I attached one layer. Now I have another layering piece right here that I want to attach right there, but it doesn't fit. So we're just gonna kind of line it up where it goes. Then we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take a pen and just draw a line at the bottom edge of my card. Then I'm gonna use my personal paper trimmer and I'm gonna cut slightly inside my red line just so I have an equal border going all the way around. So now I've trimmed that to fit on that smallest panel. So I'm gonna attach that layer. Now when you're attaching layers, you could layer on both sides, just like I've stamped on both sides. However, it makes it a little bit harder um, because you do need to cut on these slits. So I'm just gonna layer on the two outer panels and then I'm gonna flip it over to layer on my middle panel. And this one, I do have a double layer effect just so you can see the two different sizes of dies. This piece I've already cut for you. So I'm gonna attach it on. And now we do need to trim this layer to fit on there and see how you can see that there's a bigger border on there. So the die has the two different sizes of layers so you can double layer. So again, we're gonna flip it over, use our pen, draw our line. Then we're gonna take our personal paper trimmer. Now I'm gonna trim a little bit further in this time. Last time I only trimmed about a 16th in. This time I'm gonna trim about a quarter inch in. Remember, you can always trim more, but you can't put it back on. So start out trimming a little bit less if you're not sure. And actually it looks like I did it pretty good the first time, so that's good. So again, I'm gonna attach this layer. Now, because I covered up my slits, I need to take my scissors and just cut on my slits. And it's easier to do that from the back. So I'm just gonna follow my slit and cut. When you have layers attached, you wanna cut the slit a little bit longer. It just makes it easier when you're attaching these pieces together. So I'm just gonna take and cut on my slits and I'm gonna cut about, about an eighth to a quarter inch in past where the slit stops. Okay, so I've got my slits that I cut. They're opposite than this one. I'm gonna fold it. Now, when you're folding, you're gonna fold mountain valley. So I'm gonna fold a valley fold, 
and then I'm going to fold them out and fold. You can see that you can see my um, pattern paper from the front. Now if I would have folded it opposite, then I wouldn't have my pattern. So that's how you know which one's a valley first and which one's a mountain. You just want to be able to see your pattern paper from the front. This one I do want to fold, so I'm going to fold it. And then I am going to attach them together so my slits kind of just interlock. Oops, and this one I did fold wrong. So interlock, and then just gently kind of interlock the second set of slits. And then interlock the third set of slits. And you can see that you just kind of have to gently work them together. Then you'll have this long and you just kind of then flatten it all out. And that's how you get your cascading effect. So I'm going to do that with the piece that I already pre-stamped. Now I have my pre-stamped one that I can stamp both sides which this is, from the back it looks finished if you stamp both sides, but it's not necessary. So I'm just going to show you with stamping just the one side, like I did with the pattern paper. I'm using a stamp from Impression Obsession and their Mega Mount. So ink it up good. If you've taken any of my classes, we have used these. So I set it down and I rock it forward. So that's stamping one end. Then I'm going to stamp the other end. That gives you a nice background. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to stamp the middle section this time. So like I said, you can stamp the whole thing or if you don't want to, you can just stamp the ends of one side and the middle of the other. So when I fold it, again I fold so I can see my pattern, and I can see my pattern on the other side. Then I'm going to have my other piece that I'm going to fold opposite, and I'm going to interlock those together. It is a little bit easier without all the layers. That's why I suggest only putting your layers on one side because it gets a little thick. And again, you can kind of just squish all those together. So that's the cascading card. Then we're just gonna attach our pieces. Um, for my words that I have here on the front, I do wanna use, I don't know if you can see that, you just use foam tape on the very edges of this top layer because then it'll kind of, you know, pop out rather than if when you're folding it flat it'll pop in and it will stay popped in if you attach it all the way across. So you just want to attach that on the very ends. So I'm just going to use foam tape on the very ends. Cards to you is looking forward to classes in September. We will be doing a cascading card in the classes at our September warehouse sale. It won't be this exact one. It'll be a different one, but it'll be another fun one. Um, so I've attached my front, and then I'm just going to attach, I've pre-die cut out a bunch of trees and also some deer. These are also dies from the Impression Obsession. So I've pre-die cut some out. Now when you're attaching your pieces, if we're attaching our deer on here, you only want to put tape. Um, on the very bottom of the deer um, what's going to attach. You don't want to attach tape to this top part, otherwise when you close it, you might tape your card shut. That would make you very sad. So just tape on the bottom half or whatever is going to attach. When you're doing your pieces that go in the back, you can either attach them um, to the fronts of the panels or to the back of the panels. It's just pretty much a personal preference and what you want to see. But when you do that, if you have things sticking up, um, 
you want to be aware about how tall they're sticking up. In the kit, you get an A6 size envelope. So if they stick up too tall, they may not fit in the envelope provided, but then you can always use an A7 envelope or a larger envelope um, to attach it. Also, one other thing is if you have stuff that's kind of flimsy up here, you can take a piece of acetate and just kind of cut it down and attach it behind the um, die cut piece just to make it firmer. So basically that is our cascading card kit. I will put that together later. Here is a few more samples that we have, our Halloween one. Um, we've got a 4th of July one right here and then just a graduation one. So you can see that they come in a number of different color combinations. Um, they're really fun to do. They take, do take a little bit of work, so give them to those special people. And next week, or the week after, we will be doing our um, lever card. This was the other card, not this exact one. We did, I had a flower one, but um, this is our lever card that has this little lever piece that folds or opens, flops to the inside of the card. So we'll be showing that in our next live video. Um, all these products are now available on our website at www.thepapercut.com. We hope to see you again. Tony says she'll see you next weekend in Minnesota, and she's saying hi to Ron. <laughs> so we're going to say hi to Ron for you. Ron, your, your groupies say hello. No. Ron, you got to turn around. No. <laughs> Ron's not saying hello. Alrighty, we will see you if you live in Minnesota. See us at um, in Shakopee, Minnesota next weekend. Otherwise, we'll see you live coming up.